for trying to cross an interstate. That's true. Try good luck getting that pig to cross over there. I've been giving it a good rub. Yeah, I mean, at that point, she's not going to move mm-hmm. across there. Meanwhile, loosen it up. <laughs> that wraps up Crime 4 News at 8. Don't go anywhere, though. Keep it right here. Crime 4 News at 9. Comes your way at the top of the hour. Looking for a job? Check out the new Cron4 Job Board. Get matched to great opportunities based on your resume. Apply in one click. Plus, get alerts, notifications for new postings, and salary information all in one place. Go to cron4.com slash find a job and find your next job today. Now, in prime time, from the Bay Area's local news station, you're watching Cron4 News at 9. Now at 9, rising cases means more restrictions. Tonight, two more Bay Area counties move into the most restrictive tier affecting businesses and the sports world. Thank you so much for joining us on this Saturday night here on Cron 4. I'm Justine Waldman. I'm Jonathan McCall. That rapid rise in COVID cases now has 99% of California sitting in the state's most restrictive reopening tier. That's the purple tier. Across America tonight, coronavirus cases are skyrocketing. Just yesterday, the United States topping 13 million cases. A week ago, the count, the country had just passed 12 million cases. More than a million cases have been reported here in California. The Golden State seeing nearly 12,000 new cases in just the past 24 hours. And those numbers is why majority of California is in that most restrictive purple tier. An influx of coronavirus cases has now forced San Francisco and San Mateo counties to move into that most restrictive purple tier. You'll see there in the Bay Area just a little dot of red. Well, that's Marin County. It's the only Bay Area County to be in the red substantial tier. San Francisco has been teetering on the edge of moving into the purple tier all week long. We've been telling you about it. Mayor London Breed calling the latest surge the most aggressive surge that the city has seen to date during the pandemic. Crowd for Dan Thorne is live for us now in San Francisco on the new restrictions that go into effect tomorrow. Good evening, Dan. Well, Jonathan and Justine, as you mentioned, this purple tier movement um, was imminent. There was warnings from health leaders and city leaders that this was coming, and today it became a reality. But with it, as you mentioned, some new restrictions, and that includes a limited stay-at-home order.